Despite the cold and rain, New Yorkers, they are still lining up for hours to vote early. Some lines have shrunk, but others remain quite long. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes is live now outside a polling site on the Upper East Side with the change that was just announced, Andrea. Well, Natalie, the lines here at Robert Wagner Middle School on the Upper East Side have been so long. The school has been so overwhelmed that City uh, Board of Elections has added another voting site for this weekend on the Upper East Side. So voters who are assigned to Wagner can now also vote at Marymount Manhattan College on East 71st Street. All of this as New Yorkers continue to turn out in droves. Outside the lobby. In the cold drizzle in Washington Heights, the line wrapped around the block to vote early, but it moved quickly. It's my day off. <laughs> like, I got time. Might as well be here. A much longer line on the Upper East Side at Robert Wagner Middle School. Right in there. But no line here to drop off a mail-in or absentee ballot in the box outside. Carol Lawson of the Upper West Side did just that for the very first time. We didn't want to stand in a long line. We didn't want to be with a lot of people also. New York State made it much easier this election to request a mail-in ballot, all because of the pandemic. In New York City alone, Board of Elections Secretary Frederick Humane says they sent out more than 1 million mail-in ballots, when historically they'd send out about 100 to 150 the processing for uh, counting the mail-in ballots will be especially time-consuming. And so far, not too many people have been focusing on this issue. He notes a June primary race in Manhattan took six weeks to tally because the board is required to follow state law when counting, a process meant to be open and transparent. Each mail-in ballot is opened by a bipartisan team in front of a campaign. And the campaign has the right to object on an individual basis to every single one of those mail-in ballots. Humane says this might not make a difference in liberal New York in the race for president, but it might in smaller races like the hot congressional race on Staten Island. Mail-in ballots must be dropped off or postmarked by Election Day, November 3rd, and received by November 10th. So the board cannot even start counting till a week after Election Day. Still, Governor Cuomo slammed the board in a conference call today, saying it was unprepared for early voting and needs an overhaul. It is a patronage mail. It has been for a long time. The status quo has protected it. It is a disservice to the citizens. And back out here live at the lines on the Upper East Side, Humane told me yesterday the criticism of the board he believes is unfair. He does believe that all the mail-in ballots may not be counted until at least the first week of December. As for voting in person, the voting hours have been extended for this weekend. They are from 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. tomorrow and 7 to 4 on Sunday, then nothing on Monday, and then, of course, Election Day on Tuesday. Reporting live on the Upper East Side, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.